Hey guys, hey Yang Gang, it's Shaylee here, Aussies for Yang. Um, I just wanted to do this video because I have a little bit of beef. Um, basically, over the last week or so, I've seen some kind of habits and some things going on on Twitter that I'm a bit mm, not really too pleased with. I don't know if that's the right term. But basically, so I put up this tweet last night that said something along the lines of, are people joining the Yang Gang and following Andrew Yang to get likes, follows and validation? Or are they trying to do everything they can in their individual power to get Andrew Yang into office? Because what I've been seeing recently is a lot of tweets that look like this. Hey, let me get to my first Yang. If I get a thousand followers, I'll donate $50. Let's do it. And you know what? Like, if that was a minority of people, um, if that was a really small cohort, like, I'd be like, whatever. But I'm seeing it grow as a trend more and more and more. And more and more people being like, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. And it's like, what are people actually doing? Um, you know, and it's really funny because like that post I put up has had the most comments of anything I've ever done. And the bulk of the comments are like, oh no, I'm here for Andrew Yang. I'm here to get Andrew Yang into power. Like the, you know, the following is a bonus and, um, you know, and even justification of, you know, oh, the bigger our following, then the more we can spread his message and that's important and yada, yada, yada. Um, and I just kind of want to be like, this whole, oh, if you like vote for me, um, you know, if you put get me followers, then I'll donate money. It's like, if you really cared and you really wanted Andrew Yang in office, you would just donate money. Like, and my worry, my worry is that it's going to, if people continue to do this stuff, it's going to inflate our numbers and make us seem like there's more of us than there actually is. Because you're going to have this whole cohort of people who are just jumping on the Yang Gang bandwagon so that they can get more followers um, and get more interaction and for popularity. And I mean, this isn't a popularity contest. It's not a game. Um... So I'm just kind of like, can you stop doing that, please? Because it looks really bad. Like, it looks desperately bad. I think I'd have to go back through my Twitter, but, like, I think one time I said, can I, can I attempt to get 100 subscribers on YouTube when I was at, like, 70 or something? And I said, oh, I'm really close, so can you share this? Because I'm really close. Like, if people want to follow, follow. And then I think when I had was like maybe 50 or 100 people off getting 1,000 followers on Twitter, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, this is cool. I'll be, I'll be at 1,000 people by the end of the week. But it wasn't like, oh, if you follow me and you like this and you comment this, then I'm going to do this thing that I think is good for Andrew Yang. Like, yeah, it just worries me because, you know, it's very easy for people to say, oh, you know, the more followers you have, the more reach you have. And it's like, that's not really true if all of your followers are just fellow Yang Gang people. Like, if everyone who follows you is Yang Gang, you're going to end up in this ginormous echo chamber of people that all think like you, that um, all have the same opinions. So when you're putting stuff out there, it's not hitting the people it needs to hit. It's hitting the same people over and over and over. And then you get this feeling that everyone is agreeing with you and everyone must be, you know, on the same page. And then if things don't go the way that we want it to go, we're going to end up brutally shocked. Like, and look, you know, every time, you know, we make a big circus about the fact that, you know, he got 8% in California, he just got 9% in South Carolina or somewhere like that. Um, but these are starting to look like outliers, not the norm. Because in the same thing where he got 5% in New Hampshire, he got 0% in Iowa. Like, what the hell is going on? It's, there seems to be a disconnect between 
what we feel is actually happening and what is actually happening. Like, you know, and don't get me wrong, like I want Andrew Yang in, in power. I want him to win. But I'm also not like, what's the word? I don't have my head in the clouds and I don't think that absolutely everyone is just magically like turning Yang Gang because it's just not the case. And then when you look at the stats and the data, it's not showing. Like, sure, there's been some really, really good growth. Like the donations was a really, really good growth. But I mean, you know, right now he's struggling to get 40,000 donors before the debate. And yet I have like 50 people on Twitter being like, get me to my first yang and I'll donate $10. I'm like, just freaking donate. Just put that money in and put that individual donation in. That's how you help. So yeah, that's my, that's my pet peeve right now. That's what's annoying me because it's like, I'm in Australia. So there's only so much I can do in Australia. I mean, I am coming to America in three weeks, um, which is going to be awesome. So I plan to do a bit of yangin while I'm in America. I plan to do a lot of yangin. Um, but it's just don't get caught up in this popularity echo chamber nonsense. Like recognize that, yes, other people might see stuff here and there um, that might kind of send them down the rabbit hole of yang, but it's not the be all and the end all and it's not the biggest group of people. The way to actually like get people to support him is to get off the internet and to go out in real life. And that's why like I love seeing when people are like, here I am with my poster randomly in the street. I'm like, yes, that's what we need. Canvassing, calling, texting, that kind of stuff. That's how you make the biggest difference. Like, can everyone just move to Iowa? Can you all just, can you all just go there? And like, I don't know what is going on with those people, but I swear to God, he's like, he's been there so many times. I just, I don't understand how he got 0% in that poll. I don't get it. Like, who are they polling? <laughs> so yeah, that's my little rant. Let me know your thoughts. Like, am I just being like a crazy raging cow or is this like an actual legit thing? Because the last thing I really want is to like get everyone's hopes up and push, 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 push. And everyone just kind of sits on the internet and is in their little echo chamber and is like, yeah, Yang's going to win, Yang's going to win. And then Iowa comes along as the first thing and he gets like 2%. And then all your dreams are shattered and you're all heartbroken and sad. Like I'd much prefer it to be like, oh, everyone is out there. Everyone is out like canvassing. Everyone is out talking about him, yanging everyone they can possibly find. And then when Iowa comes around, it's like he gets 15%, like, or 20%. Like that's, that's like what we want. But if we just keep playing games and doing the whole, oh, you know, just follow me and I need followers and then I might donate or I might canvas or whatever, like it's not going to happen. So America, come on, get to work. Get to work. Get Andrew Yang into office, please. The rest of us are depending on it. All right. Bye, guys.